Hey everyone, it's Rachel the Love Witch here. I'm gonna try and look in here and not above. I have a new camera which is very exciting, but I'm still getting used to it all. Um, we have a beauty today. Um, mm, I can smell some things happening. So we have, I know this is the, I'm just, one, I have like the witch's moon, all the different subscription boxes I know going through my head. But this is the Antipodean witch box. Um, it doesn't, it hasn't come in its, um, oh, well it does have this. It does have its prettiness here. Um, I was like, where's the usual stuff? Um, so let's get into it, shall we? Oh, this is very hard not to look at myself above and <laughs> look at you. This is very, this is very difficult. But I'm very happy to have a new camera. It is, oh just fantastic to not be just messed around by storage issues and my phone's issues okay I don't know what the theme is actually how about I pull this down yeah so you can get like a bit of a first-hand view is that yeah, that's happening that's good give you a bit of a first-hand view of what's going on here Ooh, I don't know what theme it is. Do you want to have a first geese? Ooh, oh wow. <gasps> Look at the stars. The swan moon, 23rd of December. That is frighteningly close to Christmas. That is, yeah, that frightens me. <laughs> I am not prepared for Christmas and all the obligations. Oh, okay, no, I don't want to. I see the word peace in there, which is really nice because I think we could all use a bit of that. Okay, we have this gorgeous star paper. Pardon, and we have some little herbs that remind me of rue and such. Oh my god, I see lots of silver. <gasps> Lovely. Hello, Suki. <laughs> okay. <gasps> okay, we have Hello, Suki. Yes. Oh, hematite. Gorgeous. I might move this around so. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. Oh, wow. This is a nice one. This is a gorgeous little chunk. I don't have that much hematite. Look how lovely the, um, the little card is. I really like this. Attributes of peace, balance, concentration, grounding, and protection. How true. And this is, oh, it comes from Australia. That's really cool. I wonder if a lot of hematite comes from Australia. <gasps> Ooh, that's a really nice little piece. I really like that piece. That's gorgeous. But you over there? Um, oh, I have to look at this silver candle. Oh, I love. Oh, yes. Hello, beauty. This is nice. I don't work with that much silver. What am I doing with my life? <gasps> Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I see. I was like, why are there only four? Because they're the elements. Earth, um, which way does it go with, um, when Wendy Rule sings it? Earth, air, fire, and water. That's how I always remember, like, what order I like saying them in. Earth, air, fire, and water. Because that's the, um, order that Wendy sings the elements in. Oh, these are lovely. Usually these are glass, and I think that's true as well. They're like coated with like, um, they feel like glass, but they're like coated with like matte black. Oh, these are lovely. That's gorgeous. I would totally use those on my altar, like all the time, all the time. I'm building up a nice little collection of beauties over here, which I have to take a photo of. <gasps> oh, cat's eye. Oh, this is one I don't really know about. Oh wow, look at that stormy beauty. Kat would absolutely love that. My partner, Catherine, which I always talk about. <clears throat> look at that stormy beauty. Oh my god. Can we get that in some sort of focus? Wow. That is divine. It's like stormy kind of waters and sky. Oh wow. Oh wow, she's a beauty. Okay, what's well, cat's eye? Oh, it comes from Sri Lanka. Amazing. Um, planet Venus, element Earth, attributes peace, restoration, prosperity, and protection. I feel like that is 
definitely a theme that's happening here. <gasps> smoky quartz. Oh, I love smoky quartz. My huge chunk isn't nearby, but <gasps> wow, this is a very clear one. Oh, wow, this is special. I love, like, if you put something silver behind it, it would kind of change its attributes a bit. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Smoky Quartz comes from Brazil. Wonderful. Peace, grounding, banishment, meditation. That's how I feel about it too. Oh, wow. I love when we get a salt. Consecration salt scrub. Look at that color. Oh, wow. Wow. Handcrafted from sea salt, Himalayan salt, chamomile flowers, citrus, lemongrass, and wildflower oils. Wow. I love this color. Oh. Smells so particular. I went to kind of offer it to you. Mm. Whoa, I don't even know how to describe that smell. It's just, wow. Oh wow, I really like this. Gorgeous colors happening here. Very gorgeous colors happening. Wow, that's gonna be cool. I, um, I'll have to put that in my shower. Oh, okay. We have more beauties. I don't know what to start with, but actually I kind of wanna pull. Oh, oh, whoa, can you see the start of that? Okay, we're just, we're just going to wait a sec. Because I want this, mm, these incense sticks. Oh, hello. Mm. This is going to sound weird, but it kind of reminds me of the smell of being at like the hairdressers. In their like comforting kind of way, like the shampoo. That sounds terrible, but I really, it's just, it's just an association. I'm really interested to read what that, um, what sort of incense that is. Because I love an incense stick. Ooh, okay, chamomile. <gasps> I'm going to put these in the bath. These are so wonderful. They're calming, yeah, peace, purification, love, prosperity, restoration. Indeed, I would love some restoration. I just always have to smell chamomile. Oh, I remembered the smell. I guess it's been a long time. Gorgeous. That's look how beautiful those are together. Okay, I love that because I'll be putting that in the bath. Oh, this is an Australian native herb. I don't quite know how to say the name of that, so I'll just give that to you. Come on. There we go. Determination and purification. Oh, Crimson Bottle Brush. Yeah, that makes sense. Why I'm like, I recognize this, but I was like, what is that name? <laughs> um, might be the Latin name. Always have to smell. Mm. Oh, wow. That just so reminds me of spring. That is sweet and delicate. That's going to be really gorgeous to work with. Wow. Oh have to pick up this oh okay a little bit entangled but that's all right let's just delicately oh this is a prosperity piece um just gonna very delicately pull you away i have a habit of just ripping things so i'm trying really hard not to do that ah. <laughs> oh god okay oh she was really entangled there. Just have to bend this back. Come on, you bastard. Oh, what have I done? I've almost fixed it. Oh, this is really fiddly. I've kind of bent this little thing back. <gasps> Prosperity piece, don't you reckon? Oh, the coins. Oh, it's a nice pattern. It doesn't kind of stand out to me as like a symbol that I necessarily know. It might just be more of like a pattern, but that's lovely. I'm going to put this on now. I wonder if this would be big enough to wear as an anklet because I kind of want to get... I just oh, I just sense I want to be into anklets this summer. I'm going to do this one-handed and it's going to be worth it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Oh, I want to wear it now. Okay, I might do it up really loose and then see if I can get it over my wrist. Yeah. Yes, 
is that's oh that looks nice with what I've got going on today oh it feels nice because it's very light I have to do it up um a lot tighter but huzzah that's lovely that is such a prosperity piece wearing coins upon the body <gasps> we have oh vervain oh you read my mind how could you this is something i really wanted to get my hands on um i've been reading a bit about vervain in oh i'm just gonna grab this book just hang on um i'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's this book I'm thinking of that everyone has been quite enthusiastic about and now I understand. Pretty sure they have a section in here on Vervain and it really interested me. <clears throat> yep, let magic in 152. Oh, you're very much at the end. Stunning, hey? Stunning. So reading a bit about Vervain, um, because I watched that terrible show Vampire Diaries and they're always talking about Vervain, so it was kind of already on my radar. And I was like, pretty sure it doesn't water away vampires in the way they talk about. They've taken liberties there, but um, yeah, really wanted to get my hands on. Hello, Suki. On some, some Vervain. Crossroads Guardians, and that's some work I've been doing recently. So this book is lovely, just as an interlude, and I love that now I have some because I didn't have any in my collection yet. Okay, so they're talking about peacemaking, love, protection, purification, healing in this. Um, I was going to say this version, but I guess it's like one attribute. So many kind of herbs have um, lots of different kind of attributes, like darker attributes and then lighter kind of attributes. Mm. Yeah, very herby, almost medicinal smelling, almost in the way like eucalypt eucalyptus and lavender have this kind of medicinal smell. It's like the teeniest amount of that kind of smell in the background. <gasps> look how lovely these look together. I really like this kind of silver grey texture they've got going on. Ooh, oh, oh, okay, this is probably my favourite thing I've ever gotten. <laughs> Dark Little Soul. <gasps> wow, these are nice nails. I kind of wish I, yeah, thought to buy some of my own. This is fascinating. I need to read about this, like, right now. Oh, this, I have my own associations for what this is about, but, I mean, this is a strong protection piece. This is fantastic. Oh, my God, very impressed. Um, ooh. Oh wow, smudge stick. I assume so. I have this um this particular kind of grass is new to me. Oh smells like grass. Mmm, smells like hay. That's wonderful. Oh, I love this. This is really lovely. Mmm. Wow, it smells like my grandfather's farm. Oh, this is, oh, it's very nice to meet you. You're going in my window. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, I love these little, like, tassely bits. <gasps> wow, you're a beauty. And you didn't get too entangled, which is always impressive. <gasps> this reminds me of, like, <sighs> it just makes me think of, like, I was going to say, like, Pagan Christmas, which is Yule, but there's something about this just feels very, like, yeah, Yule to me. Oh, I mean, I guess it is for December, so they're thinking about that. But this is gorgeous. Love these tassel -y bits. It makes it a little bit, um... This makes me think of, like, the Blair Witch, which is probably a terrible association. All my associations are very weird today. But, you know, something a little bit more raw, a little bit rude. Oh, wow. This is just so charming. I love this. I'm going to put this in my window. I'll take some photos for you so you can see. Oh, I really like this. Delicate and gorgeous. But I feel like it'll definitely hold together. Ooh! Oh, awesome. I can always use more of these and I love that they made it silver. Oh, this is nice. Yes, hello. Thank you for that. To go with the, um, the incense sticks. Yes. Can I just put that in now? Yes. Huzzah! Lovely. 
always use more of these because I'm always getting incense just absolutely everywhere. Oh, wow. There's something else down here. Oh, I won't look yet. <gasps> Lovely. Lovely. I've been putting these all up like inside my um, wardrobe. But this one is so my color scheme. I think I will definitely have it um, some a little bit more accessible. Pieces within me and around me. A wellspring of tranquility is always at my disposal. Gorgeous. That's really nice. I really, I really like this design. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put you nearby. And there's something else down here which I'm so glad. Oh, you are intriguing. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, this is fab. This is so fab. Oh. <laughs> Seven bit of a geese at myself this is lovely oh my god this is this i love using mirrors in my um candle work um i love like the herbs fall on it and um yeah the wax does i mean like you know i guess if i had a very small candle it might not fall off the edge if i had a figure candle it would just go everywhere but um this is gorgeous and my big one actually broke i only used it like once and like the heat from the wax just like cracked it um so this is really nice to have another one of these. Um, I think that is it. I love this paper. I always like keep paper, but this is such a favorite. Okay, now to do a bit of, let's put that mirror out of the way. Let's do a bit of reading about what's actually going on here. Lordy. Uh, Swan Moon, 23rd of December. Peace. Um, welcome, witch, to this month's box of treasures for the moons of December. This month, the Swan Moon brings you the gift of peace. While the Northern Hemisphere celebrates a season often blanketed in silver snow, we have our own silver season to rejoice in, the midsummer gleam of silver sunlight dancing on our oceans and lakes as we swim. That's really lovely and very true. The silver haze of heat as temperatures soar, silver eucalyptus swaying in the summer breeze, making our mountains blue. Indeed, and I lived near the, um, I was going to say blue mountains, that doesn't seem kind of correct. Anyway, there were blue mountains near me when I was in Canberra, <laughs> even though I think like the blue mountains are like many hours away. Oh, things going on out there. Um... Talking about the Midsummer Night and the Fake Influences. It's gorgeous. Hmm. Training our minds to find stillness using active meditation to occupy the body and brain so we can experience the mindfulness of being purely in the moment as part of our path. That seems like very good advice for the upcoming crazy season. Cool, and they tell you about the upcoming moon, 7th of December, new moon, 15th of November, the first quarter, 21st December, Litha, midsummer solstice, thank you for that, 23rd December, full moon, the swan moon, 29th of December, the last quarter. Ooh, okay, so we have the solar pentagram wind chime hanging, yes. This handmade wind chime combines a concentric series of pentagrams as part of a pentacle design, echoing sim solar symbols, the joyous chimes of silver bells ring in midsummer blessings. That's just so lovely. Um, we have the eucalyptus lavender and rosemary smudge bundle. Yes. Witchcraft eucalyptus leaves lavender and rosemary with sweet meadow oat and hay. Yes, I was right. It's hay. Um, to bring the restorative scent of rejuvenating bushfire to your smoke cleansing. That's really intriguing. That's very smart and interesting to me. Keep a source of fire close to hand to relight as needed, as well as a safe place to let it burn out. It is safer to carry in a fireproof bowl, cauldron. Yeah, totally. Um, sun coin bracelet anklet. Uh, yeah, it can be used as an anklet. Whereas an anklet or bracelet, the silver coins tooled with a solar motif. Okay, solar, that's a solar um, motif. Um, rings in prosperity, good luck and happiness with every jingling step. How good. It feels very Yule without being, I don't know, crass? Because so much of Christmas stuff can kind of get a bit over the board. Like, I know, I love over the top, but some of the stuff you see is ugh, kind of 
ruins it a bit. I don't know how to describe it. Um, silver pillar candle. This silver, this pillar candle is perfect for rituals conducted over several days, uh, as it can be um, relit several times and will burn for more than 12 hours. That's that's huge. Um, peace signal, or uh, sigil affirmation, fey dreams, incense. Oh, I love that we're welcoming in the fey. The intoxicating scent of jasmine and sweet honey. Oh, I don't know how, what. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Ah. Oh. Okay, I can smell, I can smell something like jasmine when I think about that. Hello, Suki. Oh, no, it's Lily. Um, let's see. It's creamy and sweet at the same time, which I think is why it reminds me of the hairdressers, but, you know, personal associations there. Um, combined with masala to create this incense. The scent is a... Uh, Repu reputed, reputated, I can't say the word, to be beloved by benign, oh, benign members of the Fae. Um, peace incense holder, yes. Oh, it's created with reclaimed mango wood. That's really cool. Um, oh, cool. It's perfect to adorn your altar and age your workings made by an ethically run woman's collective in Thailand. That's fantastic. Well done. Hello, Lily. Do you want to get up here? There's not really much space, is there? Midsummer Peace Bath Salts. Oh, Lily, she wants to get up on the windowsill, but I've got too much crap and some stopping her. Oh, she's going under the table, that's fine. <clears throat> Lily, where are you? Oh, I can feel you, baby. Hello. <laughs> got vervain, chamomile, cold steel protection charm. What's that? Oh, this, yes. Protection charm, must read about this. Oh, element stone set, yes. Oh, they've, it's a scrying mirror. That's why it's that size. How, perf how perfect. Oh, okay, and they've got a whole thing on scrying here. I love that. Oh, Lily, there's a lot of birds out there. Hey, Lily, do you want to go across? I'm sorry, there's a lot of stuff in your way. Um, charms like this are found in old homes in the walls, foundations, and the corners of the property in colonial era homes here in Australia, and are part of the practice of cunning, um, cunning folk through the ages. Cool. I feel like I'm learning lots of things. Midsummer and full moon peace ritual. Gorgeous. Many gorgeous things to keep reading. Midsummer chamomile and ginger punch. That's fantastic. I've never made anything like that. Solar deities. Oh, cool. They talk about Helios. I don't know how to say some of the other ones, but I'm glad they've included lots of deities from lots of um, different cultures. Oh, wow. This is divine. Oh, man. I'm going to put this up straight away. I really love this. I'm going to put this in my window. I have a lot of like white and silver going on. Oh, I'm really impressed. This was really gorgeous. Ah, oh, particularly love these. They look so beautiful. Like all of these together just look so stunning. All right. <clears throat> this was great. I really like the selection. This was really informative and detailed. Yeah, I'm just I just keep being really impressed each time. I like when I guess things right too. Oh, this is cool. Lots of things to play with, things to put up, things to enjoy, things to involve in rituals, things to like just put up around your space and activate. This was fab. That's all I can really say. I might put this up so you can actually see me now. Mm. All right, let's just adjust that. Um, yeah, this was this was really fab. Um, I don't know what else I can say about this. Um, I might just love you and leave you. This was really great. I'm just, I just think it's really clever how they've got all these pieces that kind of nod to what's happening in our season, of course, like really strongly like associated with like the Southern Hemisphere, but also have this kind of Yule feel without being, without pretending like it's snowing because it's not, <laughs> it's not snowing. Um, that would be fun, but it's not. So I feel like it's got that kind of 
feel like a nod to both seasons. Uh, yeah, it's just really good. Um, yeah, anyway, I will love you and leave you like I said I would. And I hope you enjoyed and um, didn't mind me looking up and down the whole time. I'll get better at that. Um, yeah. Oh, so many birds, so many things happening. Um, yeah, this was divine. Lots of photos, lots more to talk about happening here. It's really good. Bye.